sometimes you need to man up for some big heavy haulage. And that's exactly what we have done here because this WSI model has a 10x4 MAN TGX XXL Euro 6 tractor. And it's coupled to a Notabome Euro PX 5 axle low loader. And there's also a 1 axle into Dolly. This is a limited edition model and it's in the colours of Twan Beerings, which is a Dutch company. The packaging is the usual WSI box style and it's chock full of parts. Also included with the model is some paperwork. And for the trailer there is this sheet which covers the model in various different configurations. And on the back there's plenty of information about the real trailer. This model also includes a certificate, but it's not uniquely numbered. Sometimes you have to pin a man down. And on the front of the big tractor there's a pin you can insert into the hitch. Although it is a tight fit. After that we can get on and assemble the Notabome trailer. And the spine beam interlocks with the front of the 5 axle module. And then there's a steel pin which joins them together. Again, that pin is another tight fit. At the front, we can take our dinky little one axle interdolly and clip it onto the spine beam. Then we get a handful of gooseneck and attach that on the front of the interdolly. So that's the trailer basically assembled, and then we can fit it to the big tractor. And as usual, clunk click does the trick. Just a few more parts to add, and that includes marker boards which clip in at the rear. And then there's a blanking plate which drops in at the rear of the module. If we move to the front of the trailer there are various hoses which can be plugged into holes. And they combine to give the model a realistic look. Also at the front there are a couple of marker boards to add. Although they didn't fit quite so well on the review model. Lastly we won't display the model just as a spine beam so we'll add the deck extensions on. And they need something to sit on. These plastic beams can just be pulled out or pushed out. And if you get them out the right distance, the timber sections can just rest on top of the beams. Sometimes you have to see what drives a man. Here the drive shaft and axles are all modelled in metal. And there are different wheels on the driven and steering axles. The big MAN cab looks great with air horns and a light bar and colour coded door mirrors. At the front there's a sign and a realistic number plate. The decoration on this model is very nice with good graphics and nice wheels. And behind the cab there's a tower and coiled lines. The trailer is also very detailed. And the control console on the side of the gooseneck is excellent. The high standard continues onto the one axle dolly with nicely detailed and textured surfaces, and a very sharply printed Notabome graphic. On the trailer deck there are plastic replica timbers, and some have the bolt positions marked. The module detailing is also great with the bolt head positions marked, and again tiny graphics and highlighting add to the realism. This high standard continues on at the back, and is a very nice level of detailing. Sometimes you have to get a man on his back. And here you can see the model engineering is complex. With the steering on axles 1, 2 and 5 all linked together. This big MAN does move along reasonably well in a straight line. But it's a real test if we set the steering. And although the angle is not huge, it does a good job of steering around a curve. We can tilt the cab and it stays tilted. And then we can see the nicely detailed engine, which has got MAN written on it. Moving on to the trailer, the module and interdolly are nicely engineered too. And as you can see, the proportional steering works well on the module. There's also steering available on the one axle interdolly. As an option, if you want, you can configure the model without the interdolly. And to do that, you unclip it and remove it. And then you fit the deck onto the gooseneck. And make use of the special spacer piece that's supplied to keep the model level. So this is a big truck, let's give it a load to carry. And here we're loading on a heavy terrain leveller. And you wouldn't want to get your toes caught under one of those.
This is another in the catalogue of impressive heavy haulage models from WSI Models. Both the detailing and the features are very nice, and the limited edition colour scheme is attractive. And if you want an impressive display piece, find a good load for it. Overall, it's very good. Thank you.